Hello friend, welcome back. My name is Becky, if you're new. Today we are going shopping. For the past four weeks, I have not done any grocery shopping except for I bought a bunch of bananas for $6.23 and I've gotten my weekly delivery of raw milk. Other than that, no groceries have been purchased and today we are going to Trader Joe's, Winco, and Costco for groceries and we're gonna head into the Dollar Tree for some Valentine's Day goodies. I have been doing some recipe research and there's some recipes I wanna make in this coming week. And it is my annual Valentine's Day cookie and candy extravaganza. And that is why we need to go to Dollar Tree and we need to go grocery shopping. We need to refill my refrigerator with all sorts of good yummy fresh produce and some exciting ingredients I need for some of these recipes that we're gonna be making in the coming weeks. So we are at Trader Joe's first. I have my grocery list and I have taken a picture of it. So in case I lose it, cause you know I'm notorious for that, we've got a picture. Let's go. I used to not do very much grocery shopping at Trader Joe's and the more I've been going there, the more I've been enjoying it. So we're actually gonna start at Trader Joe's because there's quite a few things on my grocery list for Trader Joe's today. It has been crazy cold and on this day we're shopping, it gets up into the high 50s and with those flowers that I just saw walking in, I was so excited for spring. Spring is kind of far away yet. We woke up to this morning, a bunch of frost on the ground, but we've had some high 50 days and it has been incredible. So it's like the perfect day to go shopping, except for the fact that it is Sunday and Trader Joe's was bananas, no pun intended. It was so busy, but it was fun. It was great to get out and get go grocery shopping, which I actually really love grocery shopping. And so not going for a month, I was really excited to get out and go. Now here is an impulse buy. This was not on my grocery list. Those were some shishito peppers. I have seen people around the internet cook with shishito peppers for the last two years, three years, and I've never tasted them before. And I actually purchased shishito pepper seeds this year to grow because I want to try them. And I figured, hey, they had them there. I am going to go pick up a bag and I am going to try those because I am a little late to the game, but I've seen them and I want to give them a try. So we've got a big appetizer day we're getting groceries for, a ton of really fun, delicious appetizers for the big football game that's coming up. And then I have a big Valentine's Day dinner I'm doing. And look at these beautiful eggs. So my chickens are laying again. I'm excited to report, but I'm only getting about four eggs a week. And so I did need to pick up some eggs and some dairy for the big Valentine. Well, it's not a big Valentine's Day dinner. I'm just having a few people over and my family, but it is, I think I have five recipes printed and we're going to make some really delicious meal a really delicious meal for valentine's day and then i'm really in the mood for salad so i got some different like crunchy toppings for salads and then again here is a trend i am well behind i've seen this trend i think go around the internet for the past year or so and that is tart terry cherry juice and magnesium to help you sleep and so i was here and that was another impulse buy i thought let's give it a try and then I was looking around at the different like snacks and beverages they have. I watched a reel or a short or something like that. And it was like the top five most popular Trader Joe's items. And those talkies were on that list. And some of the beverages were on the list. And these were not on the list, but I saw them out of the corner of my eye. And they are onion chips. I didn't get these. Let me know if you've tried them. But I thought that those would be really good as a breading on chicken or a topping on like a baked pasta or casserole or something like that. And so I, I put them back, but I thought they looked absolutely delicious. And then the beverages, I love the beverages that they have at Trader Joe's. They have some really unique ones. And I think for a party, if you're responsible for beverages, it's a great place to come and just pick up a few fun things. And you don't even have to make a punch or something because they had some really unique, delicious looking beverages, adult beverages and non-alcoholic beverages. And then I really needed to stock up on condiments and they had some really good looking ones here. I had never bought my condiments at Trader Joe's before, but they looked pretty good. And then I did just like kind of peruse around the dessert aisle. This aisle had so many good, delicious, yummy looking things. And a lot of them were personal size. And so if you 
were going to do a little Valentine's Day thing and you didn't want to do any of the cooking, they had a ton of really good options. This week, we're not only doing a big Valentine's Day dinner and football appetizers, but I am going to be making five candy recipes and five Valentine's Day cookie recipes because every year I make a big spread of treats. I package them up and then I go to my loved one's homes and I drop them off. And so that is another thing that we're definitely shopping for today is picking up some of those items that I need to make some of those yummy treats. I have all my recipes printed for the entire week and I'm really excited for getting in the kitchen and trying a bunch of new things this week with you in the kitchen. I love Trader Joe's. Every time I go in there, I just fall in love with it even more. And I got way more stuff on my list than I originally put on my Trader Joe's list because some of the produce items just looked really beautiful. There were some things I wanted to try and there were some things that I wanted for a while that they had and I saw it and I got it and I'm really excited about it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through my grocery list and I'm gonna cross everything off my grocery list that I purchased. Not, oh, I was gonna look for Valentine's Day sprinkles there, but I forgot and I already bought some online. I just wanna see if they had any dye-free ones at Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's does not use any artificial colorings in any of their items. So I got every single thing on my list at Trader Joe's plus some. So I'm going to flip it over to my Costco. I think I was going to get bananas at Costco, but they were better price here. Okay. I got a couple things that I was going to get at Winco here, and then there were some things that they had here, but I decided I was going to get them at Winco anyway since I'm going there. Okay. So now where we're going to go, I crossed one, two, three, four, five things off my Winco list and one thing off my Costco list. But where we're gonna go now is, what's it called, Dollar Tree? <laughs> and then we're gonna head to the next grocery store. See you at Dollar Tree. All right, I just got to the Dollar Tree. So what we're looking for here are some Valentine's Day boxes. So when we make our Valentine's Day cookies and candies, we might not need this. We can package them up all cutely. They definitely have all their Valentine's Day stuff out. This is not my normal Dollar Tree, and my goodness, this section is huge. It's gonna take me a while to see if I can find what I'm looking for. This is going to be my third annual candy cookie extravaganza for Valentine's Day to drop off to my loved ones on their doorstep. In the past, I've done little boxes like this. What I kind of want to see if I can find are the boxes that I had at Christmas when I did the cookies and they they were totally collapsed and they were in, you know, a bag like this. So I just have to walk around and see if I can find something like that. All right, I'm not seeing what I came here for. These are cute, but I don't think the cookies and candies would hold up well in these. I put my cart back because they don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find what I need in the Valentine's Day section. So what else I've done in the past is I have looked in just their normal gift wrap section and then I might get some Valentine's Day tissue paper or something. Okay, so these are the boxes I have bought in the past, but I bought them for Christmas, not Valentine's Day. These, because the candies and cookies sit really well in them. Let's see. The gold, I could get red tissue paper, and I could get gold tissue paper. They don't have a ton of them. Oh, it says they're 50, are they 50 cents? Oh, maybe because that one's damaged. Hmm. Let's keep looking. I've never had such poor luck looking for an option for a cute little gift box to put candies and cookies in. I think what I'm gonna do is see what I can find on Amazon real quick and see if I can find something that could be delivered in the next few days. I don't plan to do this today or tomorrow. And so let's just see what we can find online. 
what would they even be called? I feel like I need to whisper because there's like no music or anything in here. It's really quiet. So let's see. I'm not very good at search terms. Let's see. All right, we're getting somewhere. They are called bakery boxes. That is what I want. And they have a ton of different ones that are, I could go with a white option or a brown option and they have the clear. And if I do this, then I could get a pack of like 20 or 30. And if they're not themed for the holiday, then I could just use them any time of year. And the cookies are the ones that are gonna be standing out and show that yes, this is Valentine's Day or Christmas or whatever it might be based on what you put in them. So my thing right now is I'm looking for what size I want. I want them to be a little bit deeper. I'm finding a bunch, a bunch that are two inch. And I think I want, this one is nine inches by six inches by three inches. So let me just see what I can find. And then what I find, I will link down below in case you wanna find or do something like this similar. This is what I'm gonna get, this bakery box. It's nine by six by three. It's got a clear window and it's white. And so I've got these, even these little stickers that say made with love. So I could put those stickers on there. Could use them for any holiday. They're, they have 4.6 star reviews. For 50 of them, it's $27. So it's actually way cheaper than if I was to buy them here. And I could get them by tomorrow. Not that I need them tomorrow, but I'm gonna go ahead and add those to my cart. And now let's get just some Valentine's Day tissue paper. And that's a way I could decorate the inside for Valentine's Day. And I'm happy with that option. Instead of tissue paper, I could line the inside with some of these cute little napkins. How many are in here? 24, that's more than enough. So I'm gonna grab these. I'm really happy with my little Valentine's Day idea because that is a way easier way to use the same thing for different holidays. So I'm really, really happy they didn't have what I was looking for. I did also get a bag of ice because I've got quite a bit of refrigerated stuff in here. And we have two more stores to go to. So I thought it wouldn't hurt because I got some dairy products and chicken to put some ice in here in this, this is like a refrigerated tote that I have. Now my eggs will fit back in. So I will see you back when we head to Winco next. We made it to Winco and I don't think I've mentioned that it is Sunday afternoon. Trader Joe's was a madhouse. Costco is gonna be a madhouse. Winco so far, the parking lot doesn't look too full, but here we go. Let's grab some things at Winco that we couldn't get at Trader Joe's and we can't get at Costco. I've yet to lose my list, which is fantastic. So what I need mostly here are quite a bit of fresh herbs and then some of the ingredients we need for the Valentine's Day cookies and candies and like marshmallow fluff and Oreos. And I already see here, I need some lemons and limes and I'm gonna grab those first. Last time we were here, we got some avocados and I stuck them in the fridge and they stayed nice and firm for a solid three weeks and that was fantastic. So I'm gonna grab three more of these. I'm picking out the ones that are the absolute firmest so that I can just pop them in my fridge and they're not gonna go to bad really quickly. And then I need three limes and three lemons. And look what they have here. They have a small fiddly fig. Mine is still alive, I'm proud to say. Oh, this one's pretty. You know, I have a pot that I think I'm going to get this and put that in. If there was only one thing I could grow in my garden, it would be fresh herbs. Fresh herbs in my grocery store, this is the cheapest. They're more expensive at my Kroger store. They're $1.98 for these little packs. And you can grow an abundance of herbs relatively easily. I have found herbs to be except Cilantro, cilantro has been the hardest herb for me to grow, but a lot of these have been really easy. Dill, another one that I've had a little bit of hard time, but chives, basil, sage, rosemary, oregano, those are all really easy. You can add a ton of delicious, fresh flavor. I'm looking for a bag for a relatively low price. A lot of fresh herbs in most of the country, if you grow them, are perennials, meaning they'll come back year after year. So you only have to invest 
in the plant once or the seed once and you're good to go. So I need a little bit of fresh, or not fresh, but dried fennel seed. And I don't wanna buy a bunch of it because I only need it, I don't use a lot of it. So that's an herb that I don't wanna store a bunch of it. So I'm just gonna get it in the bulk section. One thing I've never grown before are shallots. They are so delicious. I had never eaten a shallot till I was an adult cooking for Josh and I, and they're sweet and delicious. I should try growing these this next year. I am still waiting for two of my seed orders to come in, and they've got some seeds here and I can't help it, but I did not buy any of these Goldstrom Rebecca, so I think I'm gonna pick up this packet of seeds and see if there's anything else. Oh, they have Impatience. Okay, I don't think I need any of those, but look, I just spotted this Rebecca, Black Eyed Susan and Single Mix Color. These ones have a green center. I think I'm just gonna get this one seed pack. But then I just spotted these White Echinacea. Maybe I'm gonna get those too. One of the Valentine's Day candies we're gonna make is a brown buttered fudge. And so I need marshmallow fluff for that. And I think, oh, baking cocoa, chocolate, baking chocolate. I don't remember what I need that for, but they made it very, very clear that I need 70% baker's chocolate, not chocolate bars. And this price, two eighty dollars at Safeway. These are like $4.99, so awesome. So I'm gonna grab, I didn't write down how many of them I needed. And I can't remember what recipe I'm using that for. Should I get three to be safe? Maybe we're gonna get three to be safe. What am I using that? Oh no, that's, I don't need that many. Two is good. I'm not making this for the Valentine's Day. This is for some chocolate mousse we're gonna be making. That's what I needed that for. So I don't need any dairy or, oh, I do need one more thing. Let's see. Two more things on my grocery list here and then we can hit, oh, let's look at the sprinkles. Squirrel, interrupting myself. I don't think they're gonna have any Valentine's Day ones that I want here. I got some dye-free red sprinkles online and I'm not seeing anything that I need here. I've never made chocolate mousse before and that's why we needed some whipped cream because we're gonna top our chocolate mousse with whipped cream. So now let's get some chicken wings. I've never made chicken wings before. Going around a corner, so I wanna slow down. And I think tomorrow, tomorrow's the day, we're gonna be making some chicken wings, some Parmesan garlic chicken wings. I got my chicken wings. I had to ask the butcher where they were and he was very helpful because I have never bought them before. And if you guys watched, I just made a ton of corn and flour tortillas and they were fabulous. Definitely the consensus is the lard flour tortillas outshined the oil. The oil are good too. I think if I had done, if I hadn't have told anyone, they would have really been able to tell, but because all of the tortillas I made that they tasted were labeled, they all decided the lard was better. And I made corn tortillas and they were the best corn tortillas I've ever had. I did King Arthur's Organic Masa, so delicious. But so many of you guys recommended this brand as being a really delicious brand for making corn tortillas as well. So I thought I would just share that, that maybe next time I'll pick this brand up and try this as an option for making corn tortillas. Because if you've never made corn tortillas before, they are easier if you have a tortilla press than flour because they're just easier to roll out and they are so good. <laughs> None of my family are huge corn tortilla fans and they all got devoured. One thing I like about Winco is they always do the price comparison. So the grocery stores we have near us are Walmart, Fred Meyers, Safeway. Safeway on Albertsons are now owned by the same company and Fred Meyers is a Kroger brand. And you can really see the price comparison when they have these stickers up here you can see as well. The last thing I need at Costco are some Oreos and I think we just need regular Oreos. And that is my Winco cart. These were the chicken wings I found. You know, I don't think Costco sells chicken wings. When we're at Costco, I can look. They might because it is football season and so maybe it's something they carry at this time of year. 
But as I'm trying to sit back and think, not that I've ever looked at Costco because I've never bought them before, but I don't think they sell them. And I'm excited to give them a try. I mean, I've tried chicken wings before. I'm excited to cook them for the first time with you. Now we'll just check out and I'll meet you at Costco. Now, one thing I forgot to mention that I wanna try at Costco if they have it is the chocolate chip cookie. I have seen a bunch of people try it online and I wanna give it a try. It's in the, where like you get the pizza and the hot dogs and everything like that. It's a new item. And so if they have the chocolate chip cookie, we will be getting one and doing a taste test. I just checked out and when they were ringing up my fennel in bulk, I was shocked. It was 23 cents. And so I wanted to come to the spice aisle and see what I would have paid if I had bought it in a little vial. And I'm, I just needed a tiny bit to make a sauce that I'm gonna make. And this jar, this is a one ounce jar, co cost $4, it's $3.98. I'd say that that was a pretty good price. Fennel is something I don't cook with very often, so I didn't want to buy a jar and then have it sit in my pantry. That's one thing I'm really trying to pair back if you're with me when we organized the spices. And so I can just use that 23 cents worth of fennel for my recipe, and then I don't have to store it at my house for the next year until I need fennel. Again, I can just purchase it if I need it. So now we're gonna head out to Costco. On my way over to Costco to get a cookie and to get the last few things on our list, which we have, that's not my grocery list. I'm gonna just check my grocery list and see, make sure I cross things off as I get them. I don't think I got anything here. Oh, I could have got that here maybe. Nope, I didn't get anything here that I was meaning to get at Costco. So off to Costco for one, two, three, four, five, six things, maybe only five. Can we get into Costco with just the things on my list? You and I. You know what? I need dog food. That's not on my list. I'm gonna put it on my list. And I think that's it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things are on my list. One of them is ground lamb. If they don't have it for the recipe I wanna make, I will just use ground beef instead. I'll substitute that. That'll be just fine. So see you at Costco. I'm a little scared. We're heading into Costco three o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. Let's see the craziness that is in store for me. I also just had the thought, maybe my Costco doesn't even have those chocolate chip cookies. I maybe have been thinking about that chocolate chip cookie this whole time we've been shopping as my final reward for shopping. And does Costco have the chocolate chip cookies? Yeah. You do? Yep. Are they good? Yeah, they're really good. They're really good? They're ice cream. Okay, awesome, thank you. All right, I've just heard confirmation that we're in store for a chocolate chip cookie. I can already smell the chocolate chip cookies and I just walked in the door, so this is a good sign. Oh my goodness, they have fruit treats. I cannot buy any fruit treats because I don't have it planned out where I'd want to put them. But they have cherry and apple and plum and pear. All the plants. Look at these mums, they are huge. I have never seen anything like this before. They're beautiful. And tulips. It's actually not that bad in here, it's kind of quiet, which is good. So maybe the crazy rush on the Sunday has already ended. It is 60 degrees outside today. <laughs> and so it's feeling like spring to me and seeing all these flowers and seed packets and everything is getting me so excited. So I don't, I really need to put blinders on because I don't need a ton of things, but it's always so fun to look. Ooh, they've got some candles. It's $19.99 for three. They have cherry blossom, eucalyptus, which is my favorite. It doesn't really smell like eucalyptus. It's a soy candle. And lavender. It says they're scented with essential oils. We'll say no to those for today. I wanted to come down this aisle. This is kind of like the yard garden aisle center because I can see that they have a small greenhouse here. This comes in, I think, three or four different sizes. I haven't seen this size before, 
there's one that's huge. It's probably eight times the size of this. And this one's $500. It was just, I wanted to see the quality of it. It's definitely, it's wood, not plastic. Hardware included certified wood. One day there will be a greenhouse on the homestead, but this year I don't think is the year. But that's okay because I've got a great area to start seeds and in the next, probably, probably not next week, probably the week after we're gonna get in the ground and start some seeds. Let's see, produce, I do need produce. So I have a really busy week coming up and I want some really convenient, easy dinners. And one thing I like to get at Costco when I come are some salad kits and then I just grill up a bunch of chicken and we have chicken and salad for dinner and it's so delicious and easy. And I'm excited for that because that's what we're gonna have. I'm gonna be using quite a bit of fruit to flavor and color the Valentine's Day cookies and candies. And the raspberries weren't looking super great. So then I was looking at the strawberries and they weren't super ripe. I mean, it is February and it's not strawberry season. And so I thought, you know what? I have a ton of freeze dried strawberries and I think I'm gonna go ahead and use freeze dried strawberries for the Valentine's Day cookies and candies we're gonna be making. And so I went ahead and I left the fresh fruit at Costco, but I did pick up some salad greens because it has been a while since we've had some salad and I am ready for some salad. Last time we came to Costco together, they had a ton of salad kits. And this time they have the kale one, which they always have, and the Caesar one, which they always have, but they have two new ones, the Green Goddess and the Thai Chili Mango. I'm gonna get the Thai Chili Mango and I wish they had the, it was like a street corn salad kit that was really good. They don't have it this time. So I'm also gonna get some just green mix and I'm gonna make some my own dressing and grill some chicken and make basically like a cob salad, which reminds me, I was gonna get some cherry tomatoes at Winco and I forgot. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab them here because a cob salad just sounds so good. I got bacon in my freezer I can cook up. I have not had fresh tomatoes, I don't think, that I have bought since the garden last year. So I'm gonna get a thing of these. So I've officially just bought one thing that wasn't on my list, but I forgot to put it on my list, which is those onions, not onions, tomatoes. So I'm gonna make some coconut shrimp. I've never made coconut shrimp before as an appetizer. And this is fresh. And I think I want, do I want fresh or frozen? I've only ever bought shrimp one other time before. If I buy them like this, then I have to peel them myself and devein them, I think. Yes, I have to devein them. So we, let's see if we can find frozen shrimp. They do have lamb today, but I am not seeing ground lamb. So we'll just use ground beef because I have a lot of that. I wish I had waited. I could have gotten my chicken wings here. They do have chicken wings at Costco but I probably didn't need this many, so it's probably best I didn't. But if you wanna get chicken wings, they have them at Costco. I'm in the frozen meat section and they've got <laughs> coconut shrimp that is already pre-made, but I wanna try making it myself. So I have to see if I can find just frozen shrimp. Hmm. Okay, I think I found it. They also have signature garlic butter shrimp. And then here they've got, let's see, let's look at it together. I've never bought shrimp except one other time and I bought the wrong thing last time. Farm raised. The last thing on my list are some of these Hawaiian rolls. I think that's everything. 
I got everything on my list except for the lamb because they didn't have it. The strawberries didn't look so great. And so I got everything plus some. The only thing I guess I got extra are the, I got milk because I wanna put some in my freezer. I get milk weekly from raw milk, a local dairy delivers it. But sometimes the weather and different things, I just like to have some milk in my freezer. I also got some Ziploc bags. And then the sweet potatoes I bought last time we were here, I never started the slips and they don't look like they're good to start slips because I need them to be in pristine condition in order to start slips. So I'm gonna do that either today or tomorrow with these ones and we'll just eat the other ones. And some tomatoes and that's about it. So I can show everything that I got when we get home. But for now I can see that they have the cookie hungry i'm gonna go get myself a cookie and we're gonna go try the costco cookie and see if it is worth the hype that i've been seeing online what a productive afternoon the first impression of this cookie is it's warm which is amazing it is a little bit on the darker side than i typically bake my cookies and it's huge let me show you how big this thing is big okay let's try it. it smells amazing it's crunchy on the outside soft on the inside I'm gonna break it in half so you can see what it looks like on the inside a lot of chocolate let's try a bite from the inside Mm. They are very, very soft on the inside. Very chewy. I like a soft, chewy cookie. They are definitely fantastic. I would go try them. It's big enough to share with four people. I've got a family dinner. I'm heading to right now. And so I'm not going to eat any more of that. I don't want to spoil my appetite. And I don't have to do any cooking after going grocery shopping. Sometimes, you know, you spend a few hours grocery shopping and the last thing you want to do is take those groceries and turn them into a meal. And tonight I don't have to. So friend, thank you so much for being here and just taking time out of your day to spend time with me as we went grocery shopping. I'm really excited what this next week has in store. A lot of what we got today, we are going to be turning into some incredible recipes that I'm really, really, really looking forward to. And so thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. If you're new, please consider subscribing because you don't want to miss any of these recipes and any of the new fun garden stuff that's going to be happening. So if you enjoyed this, I'll pop a couple of my other videos here. You can go enjoy between now and my next upload. Bye, friend.